I know that you've been very open about your battle with breast cancer, um, not once, but twice. And, and you chose to keep working during your treatments. Why was that so important to you? You know, for me, I didn't want cancer to define me. And for me, part of being at work was it let me retain a part of me that I really enjoy. And at one point, um, one of my bosses, Joe Perella, said, come to work if it's good for you. Never come in if it's for Morgan Stanley. And I think the wisdom of that was he knew that it was important to me for part of my healing. And, and it, it was energizing for me not to be defined just by cancer. Um, I was fortunate you know, that the treatment, as hard as it was, I was able to keep working. Not everyone can. And so I certainly don't want to set this as the, as the way one gets through cancer. It is a deeply personal experience and everyone has to figure out what their right course is and what they're actually physically able to do. But I am grateful that I was able to keep working. And it just, it, it, was, it, it was energizing. It was energizing to be with my colleagues and to know that I wasn't just being defined by how long did, did this process last. So how would you say having breast cancer changed your perspective on life and on leadership? I think in a lot of um, really important ways and about choices in my own career, um, you know, that proverbial question, where do you want to be in five years? all of a sudden actually means a lot more once you've gone through this. You realize that every day is a gift. And what I never wanted to do is be in a position where I said, well, why did I keep doing that? You know, if, if in five years, God forbid, it comes back again, I want to ensure that every day I've really lived it to its fullest because every day is a gift. It also, you know, when I was going through it the first time, I realized that I was actually very fortunate. I. I have three amazing children. I've been married to an incredible man for now a very long time. Um, I never put that part of my life on hold. And the number of women I've spoken with where I've heard things like, well, I'll do that once I reach this level, or I'll do, well, you don't know that you actually have the ability to control a timeline that way. And I think one of the ways to be extraordinary at what you do at work is to actually have a full rich life. If it's all about work, I think you can become resentful, not as interesting a person. You've got to have a full rich life and you can't put that on hold. So I would say personally it had a profound impact, but also as a leader, ensuring that I'm telling my teams, you ha live life to the fullest, ensure that you've got that mix in your life. Don't wait for that other time. You don't know if you're ever gonna have that other time. <music>